Hi guys, so this is going to be a little vlog on um, my Avril Belena matte lipstick collection. So currently I have seven in my um, lipstick box. Um, I have started with their mauve shade um, when I first uh, started my career in this uh, makeup artistry world. This was the very first matte lipstick I ever owned. And then the rest just came, you know, j just, you know, followed after. And I can say that I really, really like their selection of um, matte lipsticks because, you know, I think people, I know some people say that they are too, too drying for the lips, but I just want to um, share to you how I apply them on so that um, it won't be as drying as you think it would because of its name matte um, so I just want to show you and later I will show you um, swatches of these um, matte lipsticks um, but before all of those I want to talk about the packaging and how the matte lipsticks um, are actually you know uh, shown to the public um, so first really they for something very uh, you know cheap for some people. Um, I know these, this is priced at 125 pesos but I think they are um, they, I know they're having a sale right now because these are going to be um, phased out because um, according to my Carl Jana, um, a good friend of mine, um, she told me that Ever Belena will be um, I think upgrading this product or something. So I think that is the reason why they are you know putting it on sale for only 99 pesos. So if you are, or if you are near any Watson store, better grab um, each one of each of the shades, you know, just to, you know, um, before they um, totally get phased out. So first and foremost, what I hate about these products is that this, this one right here, this part comes off easily. I don't know if why, why they, they didn't, um, you know, glue it on. For some reason, they don't. So. Um, when I put I, like three or two of these in my makeup bag, um, I end up always losing the, the, what do you call this? I don't know, the, this one. So, I know. So I'm planning on, you know, gluing them on so that I won't be searching, I mean, so I won't be wasting time searching for them inside the train case or the makeup bag. But overall, the packaging of this lipstick is really, really, um, I, I can't say sleek and, you know, very decent looking. So, and you can easily see the shade of the, whoops, the shade of the lipsticks here. So just to, you know, just to, to do a quick um, run down, run through on the shades that I have right now. I have Skin, Mavi, this is one of my favorite, Mavi. Storm. Um, off, I know you can't see the name, but I'm just going to, you know. This one is Offbeat Pink. This one is Pink Flame. This one. This one is Love That Red, the middle one. And the last one is Scarlet. I, you know, I haven't really um, noticed that I haven't used this one yet. This one yet. Scarlet. So, I saw Mark Carl Jana. So I'm just going to call her Jana because it's really, really hard to say Marie Carl Jana. So uh, besides I just call her Jana, I'm going to put her link down below. You should check her out. Her vlogs are amazing. Back to the lipsticks. Um, I saw her rave about this lipstick. Um, I told her that I think I have it in my collection and I have, I am not, I wasn't mistaken because I do. I just, I don't know why I, I still haven't used this one. So let's just go through um, each of the lipsticks one by one quickly. We will start off with the reds first because I think, you know, you know, just to get them out of the way, like I always say. Um, so for the reds, I have um, Storm, Love That Red, and Scarlet. Let me just show that to you. Um, I hope you can see and I hope the camera focuses well. Can see that? Yes. 
So as you can see, um, here are the caps, color caps. I like to call them color caps. Um, so that you can see, you will notice that Scarlet, this is one, Scarlet, Love That Red, and Storm. So you, you can notice, you can notice, as in, um, Scarlet is the one, Scarlet has an orangey undertone to it. And um, Love That Red is like this um, bright red color. And Storm is kind of um, more um, a deep red color. So just I'm just going to show you um, swatches of these. Um, this is going to be the Scarlet one. I hate to do swatch it because I haven't used it yet. Maybe I just can I just I can just show you the um, how it looks like. So this is Scarlet. This one is Scarlet. Um, it's really really um, good color. Very orangey. Yeah, like what I said, it has an orange undertone. Okay, and the next one we have um, Love That Red. This is what I bought when I was um, going to film the Wednesday Adams tutorial because I wanted um, a teen Wednesday Adams tutorial. I mean Wednesday Adams look because I know the baby Wednesday Adams had nude lips all over, but I wanted red, so I just um, picked this one. This one is Love That Red. You can very much notice that um, this red is more of um, the real red color that we um, are actually familiar of. So I have used this one already. So if you can see that, it's really a good color of red. Um, I call it the real red color. There are a lot of shades. I can't believe it. Um, next, we have Storm. Now, this one is perfect for, like, uh, vampire tutorials, like, because it has a really, really, really deep color into it. I don't know what other color, I mean, what color is, like, uh, mixed with this. It's just a really, really depth, uh, I mean, it's just a really, really deep color, deep red color almost wine um yeah when you think of wine yeah this one think of red wine and this one looks the color of this one looks like looks like that okay so now we're going to move on to the pinks so all I have are um, the, these two here is pink flame and offbeat pink Okay, this is one is Pink Flame. This one is Offbeat Pink. So, this one is Pink Flame. I used this when I um, filmed the remake of Michelle Phan's um, clubbing makeup tutorial. That one, uh, I had a collaboration with um, Color Is My Weapon on that one. So, if you want to watch that really, really old video, I'm just going to put the link on the info box down below. And you can check that out later. So, Oh my gosh, looks really dirty. Please don't mind, but um, Pink Flame looks like this. Let me just um, focus that for you. See? Um, such a pretty um, pink color, Pink Flame. I know it looks um, like a soft pink, kind of pink, but it isn't. Um, I think it looks more of... I don't know, when you apply it, um, it has this, you know, kind of a vi violet or purplish um, hue or tone in it. But yeah, I love this. It's great for, you know, looks. This one is offbeat pink. Now this pink one is more of a soft pink color. Okay, and um, as you, you can really tell that uh, it looks really um, soft and light. Um, this is perfect for, you know, school days, school looks, and, and the likes, even dates, um, day dates, and the likes, you know, just, just, just for every day is perfect. Now we move on to the nudes color, nude colors, so, um, the fair, very, very first, uh, ever Belena matte lipstick that I owned, um, is this one. 
mauve uh, and this one is skin okay so um, starting off with mauve this is the best um, nude lipstick for me not only that it does it look nude but it has a slight hint of pink in it I don't know if you can tell but it has it really has a slight pinkish tone in it um, making um, your lips giving your lips that you know um, hint of color that you know it's really a good as you can see I have used quite a lot let's compare it to the scarlet one the one that I haven't used okay maybe I just used one fourth but you know I love this lipstick so yeah um, I used this in a couple of my tutorials as you can see the brand is already you know I don't know what you call this torn off or something it it just goes to show that I have this I have had this for a very long time maybe a year for a year now and the next nude color I have is skin I actually bought this because um, um, color is my weapon because I saw her use this um, and in a couple of her in a couple of her tutorials and I just figured wow um, you know it would be I mean it is a necessity for me for every girl to have uh, a nude colored lip a nude lip color in her you know train case I don't know I, I just feel like it's something that you should have so here is what it looks like as you can see totally no hint of any color of any pink color in it just plain nude as in nude when you apply this uh, your skin will almost match your lip color. Now, if you're planning to wear matte lipsticks and you know expect them to last all day long, you will not um, even think. You should not even think of wearing it alone at all because it will flake. I tell you, um, even though these are my, this is my favorite um, brand of matte lipsticks. I tell you that it will flake. If you don't, if you do not, um, you know, condition your lips first before using them. So I'm just going to do a quick um, demonstration. So wh what you're going to need is a lip pencil, any of your choice. I mean, any lip pencil of your choice that will um, almost match the lip color. Um, a lip balm, a hydrating lip balm is highly recommended, and your favorite um, lip gloss. So. Um, now I'm going to start by um, lining my lips with this Nichido um, lip liner. This is uh, LP04 Rosette. So I'm just going to quickly line my lips. So now that I have lined my lips, I'm going to use my Shawil lip balm. Um, I'm just going to do a quick, you know, something about this um, about this product because um, this is my favorite lip balm ever. It has vitamin E and water microspheres. Um, it is in the shade of one. So if you saw that, um, it has water microspheres that uh, makes the lips look more and feel look and feel more hydrated. So I'm just going to. Um, apply this so next um, now that your lips are you know ready for the matte lipsticks I'm just going to pick my favorite one the mauve shade um, just going to apply this all over on top of the gloss I mean on top of the lip balm Um, you can't you're good to go with those two steps with those three steps I mean 
but if you want you know if you want to um, make your lips last longer I mean for like four hours or throughout the whole day you may want to use your favorite lip gloss my current favorite is from elf the super glossy lip shine with SPF 15 I have seen Holly Ann rave about this product and I do not blame her I am actually very very much um, in love with this product because it's just you know it smells incredible nothing like those other cheap makeups you know smell like because but I'll get into that in the next vlog but um, now you're just going to you're gonna want to um, apply this You, if you want, you can just add some, you know, of the gloss on your lower lip, and this, you can just smack your lips together like this, and you're good to go. So that is how um, I applied my matte lipsticks. Um, I hope you had, um, you ha were able. So I hope you were able to pull out some, you know, tips and tricks from this um, vlog. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you do not. Um, um, you know, mind if I'm wearing my glasses. Actually, I I look like this when I'm at home. Um, it's just that my eyes are really, really tired. And as you can tell, I have no makeup, no eye makeup. Uh, not My brows are undefined at all. Um, I just have a little um, foundation and powder and blush on. And if you can tell, I am really sweating because the heat in here in the Philippines is incredible. I mean, not incredible, it's incredibly hot. My gosh, even the air condition is in full force already, full, you know, high volume. No, not high volume. High, what you call that, high, whatever. It, I don't know, but you know, the heat is just really um, battling with, uh, you know, electricity or something. So it's really, really, really hot, and I'm not even in, in, in an air conditioned room. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you were able, um, this vlog was able to help you in any way that it can. I have a couple of vlogs and tutorials on the way. Please um, stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!